The RCMP alleges that Senator Pamela Wallen committed breach of trust by making inappropriate expense claims. CBC News has obtained court documents filed by the RCMP in connection with its investigation of the senator. The document further alleges that Wallen defrauded the Senate of more than $5,000 in either money or goods. Also today, a new Senate report shows that the independent audit of Wallen's expenses cost taxpayers more than $390,000. That's more than double the amount she was required to pay back. Conservative delegates and MPs are in Calgary for the party's national convention. Tonight, all eyes will be on Prime Minister Stephen Harper as he delivers his keynote address. Harper is expected to talk about the government's accomplishments and reassure party faithful as he tries to shift focus away from the Senate scandal. Digital video file. Rob Ford's lawyer is calling on police to release the video that allegedly shows the mayor smoking crack cocaine. Lawyer Dennis Morris says the video will prove the mayor is innocent and was smoking another substance. A Toronto police spokesman said the lawyer's request is just the start of an attack against the police investigation and the chief. Yesterday, Chief Bill Blair announced that police had recovered the video from an electronic device seized during a drug investigation. Meanwhile, the man charged with extortion in the middle of the Ford video revelation was released on bail today. Alexander Lisi, a friend of Ford's, made a brief court appearance before being released to his father. Bail conditions include living with his parents, having access to just one cell phone, and finding a job. Police say the charges against Lisi are for his extortive efforts to retrieve a recording, which is believed to be the video in question. Shots were fired today at Los Angeles International Airport. Officials evacuated two terminals and stopped all inbound flights. Witnesses say they heard about a dozen gunshots from inside a security gate at Terminal 3. Police say the shooter is in custody and there are multiple victims. Today, the Royal Canadian Legion named this year's Silver Cross Mother. Nikki Sy Harris from Laval, Quebec, will lay a wreath at the National War Memorial on Remembrance Day. She will represent all Canadian mothers who have lost a son or daughter in the military. Sy Harris's youngest son, Chris, was killed when an IED struck his vehicle in Afghanistan in June 2007.